Well, more pro-life Christians coming out now and endorsing Joe Biden. How could they do this? It makes absolutely no sense. And one of them is coming from the late Reverend Billy Graham's family. We're going to get into the details. Before I go any further, guys, i got to give a couple special shout-outs here. First, going out to Hal, who recently became a $10 patron, helping to support. Thank you so much, Hal. And also, David, who became a $5 patron. Thank you so much, David. And guys, if you enjoy what I do, you'd like to help support the ministry, you could do so. Patreon.com slash conservative truth. That link in the description gets you access to over 20 exclusive podcasts where I talk more about sensitive information. You get the links for anything that goes out on Patreon, unlike YouTube, where you will not be notified of all the videos that I put out, even if you have that bell selected, because YouTube doesn't like me, but I know you guys like me, so when you get done watching me here, browse back, check with you, biz. Please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. Now, I mentioned Reverend Billy Graham. Well, his granddaughter, Jerusha, Jerusha DeFord, has come out now and said that she will be voting for Joe Biden. And again, she said, despite her pro-life view. So she's someone who believes in the sanctity of life, and yet she's going to vote for somebody who does not believe in the sanctity of life. In fact, this individual, Mr. Biden, believes in uh, terminating that life at any point during a woman's pregnancy. To me, you have automatically disqualified yourself from being able to identify as pro-life. If you are going to support candidates like this, you are not pro-life. You are not pro-life at all. Now, she's coming out and saying that she's accusing President Trump of hijacking, hijacking Christians, using their faith against, uh, against them to vote for him. What does that even mean? Hijacking the faith. This is a man who stands up for religious liberty. He's not hijacking anything. This is the platform that he stands on. But apparently, Jared Shaw thinks that, oh, he's just he's just using us. And then she goes on to talk about his temperament. And oh, he, you know, he tries to, you know, he objectifies women and everything like this. It's the same old song and dance that we hear from all of these so-called Christians who they want their presidential candidate to be some kind of a pastor. But look at Joe Biden. How could you, if you were really so concerned about you, you really wanting this upstanding person to, to go out there and be the president. Joe Biden is someone who's constantly gone after faith. He's constantly gone after Catholic people. He claims to be a Catholic. He's not a Catholic. Come on, give me a break. He doesn't stand for anything that the Catholic church would stand for. But apparently Jared Shaw here is going to vote for Biden because, oh, I don't know. He's just, he's not as mean as Trump. I, I, these people, I, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Let me tell you this right now. This, if there's one thing that this is all done. It's exposed these fake and phony Christians for who they really are, okay? They've, they've hidden behind that Christian banner for so long. And for someone like, you know, Jerushad DeFord here, who's the granddaughter of Billy Graham, you know, I mean, you, you would think everybody in that family would be, you know, a staunch Trump supporter. Not the case. She even then went so far as to say that, well, if her father was still alive today, he would be very upset with what he sees going on. Her grandfather, that is, would be very upset with what he sees going on right now. He would not approve of the Trump administration, even though Franklin Graham even came out and admitted that his father, Billy Graham, did in fact vote for Trump in 2016 prior to his death. So I don't know what she's talking about here. But this is just another virtue signaling, you know, fake Christian, in my opinion, that's going out there trying to sway people to vote for Biden, who is the enemy. Don't fall for it, ladies and gentlemen, and don't let the name or anything try to, you know, give you that sense of like, oh, maybe I should vote for Biden because Billy Graham's granddaughter said so. No, don't fall for it. I'll put some more information down below in the description. You guys can let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.